Let me call the hearing to order. U.S. forces, which was one of the conditions. At no time was I attempting to change or influence the process, usurp authority, or insert myself in the chain of command. But I am expected, I am required to give my advice and ensure that the President is fully informed on military matters. The United States. On 14 April, Later that same day, on 8 January, Speaker of the House Pelosi called me to inquire about the President's ability to launch nuclear weapons. I sought to assure her that nuclear launch is governed by a very specific and deliberate process. She was concerned and made, very, or made various personal references characterizing the President. I explained to her that the President is the sole nuclear launch authority and he doesn't launch them alone, and that I am not qualified to determine the mental health of the President of the United States. There are processes, protocols, and procedures in place, and I repeatedly assured her that there is no chance of an illegal, unauthorized, or accidental launch. By Presidential Directive and Secretary of Defense Directives, the Chairman is part of the process to ensure the President is fully informed when determining the use of the world's deadliest weapons. By law, I am not in the chain of command, and I know that. However, by presidential directive and DOD instruction, I am in the chain of communication to fulfill my legal statutory role as the president's primary military advisor on the same topic. Uh, he gave his assessments. These military-to-military -military communications at the highest level are critical to the security of the United States in order to deconflict military actions, manage crisis, and present, prevent war between great powers that are armed with the world's most deadliest weapons. The calls on 30 October and 8 January were coordinated before and after with Secretary Esper and Acting Secretary Miller's staffs and the interagency. The specific purpose of the October and January calls were to generate were generated by concerning intelligence, which caused us to believe the Chinese were worried about an attack on them by the United States. I know, I am certain, that President Trump did not intend to attack the Chinese, and it is my directed responsibility, and it was my directed responsibility by the Secretary to convey that intent to the Chinese. My task at that time was to de-escalate. My message again was consistent. Stay calm, steady, and de-escalate. We are not going to attack you. Tell about the intelligence that drove these calls. I'm also happy to make available any emails